Hey guys, Nick from Death Like Reviews here. Uh, sorry it's been so long. Uh, I've just been really, if you've been watching the streams the past couple of weeks, you'll know that I just started back work, started back at work, uh, last Tuesday was it, and, uh, I'm just adjusting to my schedule. Um, I know I said in the last video I did that I was going to try to upload more. I am still going to try to do that. We're going to keep doing the little weekly streams because you guys who watch weekly seem to be really enjoying those. Um, this is, I know I talked about doing this video in the last video. We're going to be talking about atmospheric black metal. And uh, since we're talking about atmospheric black metal, we're going to be listening to uh, Vig Vigilance Perennial by Falls Auroros. And since I'm talking about Falls Auroros, uh, we're going to talk about Falls Auroros even more because Falls Auroros is freaking awesome and you should really check them out if you haven't. If you haven't, I don't know why you haven't. You're missing out. They are easily one of the most interesting, most memorable songwriting groups out there today. Absolutely incredible, as you'll hear in the background. Uh, if, yeah, they're, they're just fantastic. And uh, we're going to talk about one of my favorite Falls Auroros albums here. That is Believe in No Coming Shore, put out on Bindaroon Recordings, I believe in 2014. It was. Uh, this is actually in my CD player. It tends to live there when I play it. And that's not a problem. Nice uh, little fold out with some lyrics. The uh, photos on this, I believe, was done by uh, Becca Lund, Austin of Panopticon's uh, wife. Yeah. He did, he did the layout and she did the photography. Yeah. Um... Super killer stuff, similar in sound to this. If you can hear that, I hope. Uh, really, really good. Uh, I keep thinking my camera's over there because that's the camera I've been using for streams. Sorry about that. Um, but really, really killer stuff. Uh, yeah, this album's awesome. So is the next one. This is uh, their most recent release. Patterns in Mythology. I just almost did it again. You know, that. <laughs> um, Patterns in Mythology. They have uh, since switched labels from Bindaroon to Gilead Media. And uh, and they just keep putting out really, really killer stuff. This is also in the CD player because it tends to live there when I play it. Uh, really great songwriting. It's exactly what you want from Falls Auroros. Uh, this booklet's nothing too fancy, it's just lyrics. But man, this album is awesome. If you have not checked out Falls Auroros Patterns and Mythology, check it out immediately after watching this. This is awesome, and I can't recommend it enough. So yeah, we're going to stop flapping our lips about that. Um, I'm going to... I just realized the majority of this video is Binder and releases. And that's not a problem, because Binder is awesome. We're going to separate out what's not. We'll do that first. And I never organize for these. Uh, let's talk about Canada. Uh, Sorcerer de Glaze, Snowland. This is just typical. Uh, it's not bad. It's a little, on occasion, it's a little boring, and I think the vocals are too loud. Uh, Snowland, this is just typical cold-sounding atmospheric black metal. There's, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's good. It's just nothing particularly new or groundbreaking, and that's not a problem, because sometimes I'm in the mood for this, and when I am, it's awesome. Uh, yeah, not too much to say about that. We are going to... I have no idea where these next two bands are from. This is Endless Blizzard. <coughs> Excuse me. This is en Endless Blizzard with Remember Your Death. Put out by BlackMetal.com in 2008. So just over... 20, what? 10 years ago? And I didn't write... I can't do math. Um, good, really cold sounding... 
black metal it's awesome stuff recommend it if you are just looking for really cold stuff to listen to this summer because it's gonna be hot as always I think it was like 92 today tomorrow's not gonna be fun at work uh, out in the sun anyway let's talk to let's get back to black metal because that's what we're supposed to be talking about so yeah uh, Vinland with I'm not gonna pronounce this because I can't Hunter Savit, I think these guys are from Sweden I want to say correct me if you know otherwise put out by Black Lion Records always doing good always good stuff coming out on Black Lion no insert nothing too fancy with this packaging which is awesome uh, this album is amazing really good uh, this cold black metal it's kinda to me it almost has a little bit of a motorhead influence in uh, the way the guitars play it's just it's really really good sounding cold black metal I keep saying that over again I gotta get better at describing things differently so I can be slamming the table like that um, next up I've been talking about this a lot on uh, the streams if you've been watching uh, Valiant a more than destiny this is the only Valiant album I own unfortunately I need to get the rest of their catalog uh, the Manimal 18 if you see this uh, I believe you gave me this uh, in a trade for something I can't remember what this is awesome one man black metal from Albuquerque New Mexico this is unlike this album specifically is unlike anything you have ever heard from atmospheric black metal this is one of the most relaxing albums out there it almost is more dungeon is actually more ambient music than uh, black metal there is no guitar on anywhere on this album it's all synth and it is insane it's beautiful the dude's vocals are on point also that album art is phenomenal but yeah Valiant more urban destiny this is the transcending records edition I know there is a self-released this oh and this came out in 2017 by the way yeah so we are into the home stretch get the last four here uh, first two you guys will probably know Obsequii in the broom of Eos this is amazing amazing stuff put out by binder and recordings and there's no ear on there so we're not gonna think about that this is really I mean Obsequii you should be familiar with them it's a uh, kind of medieval sounding folk mixed with atmospheric black metal and it's amazing it's really well done Tanner is an amazing musician from I want to say Minneapolis I'm not sure I can't remember but yeah Obsequii in the Broom of Eos this is amazing uh, next up on Bind Rune we have Alda with Passage I was talking about this I believe in the last video I'm not sure but this is really awesome American atmospheric black metal. I cannot remember where these guys are from. But this is fantastic. That out that artwork is amazing as well. Mine's a little beat up because it gets played so much. But it's it's a great great album. Let's grab that insert uh, lyrics with some really neat like stencil type artwork in there really really good stuff kind of similar to uh, Falls of Rawers being in that they mix black metal with like post rock to get this really cool atmospheric effect it's amazing uh, yeah next up we're gonna talk actually we're not gonna talk about that one because I can't remember anything about it uh, this the last one this is Amarica with the embers of the stars I was playing this in the last video 
I did, and this is really, really killer stuff. Also, bind rune recordings. Really good, kind of in that vein of like post-rock infused black metal. It's awesome. Definitely check it out. Um, that's all the music I have for you guys in this one. Hopefully, you guys keep watching the streams. Um, I'll have some stuff coming in the mail here in a little bit to make a video on. Uh, I'm going to try to keep up, to keep doing more uploads. Also, if you guys like this new camera angle a little bit better, leave me a comment. Uh, so I know that you guys appreciate that. But that's all I got for this one. See you next time.